Hello everyone, time for another function. Today I'm going to show you god mode which is going to be useful if you're making a map or maybe running a server. You'll probably find a use for this at some point or another. Um, so I've explained this a million times uh, but I'm going to explain it again just in less depth. Uh, to install this you need to download the Dragons STF zip file and in here you'll see a folder. Go into your saves, uh, let's go TTB API. Go into data, go into functions, and all you have to do is just drag and drop that in there, and then you're almost ready to go. Now, in order to use Dragons STF, all you have to do is go function Dragons STF, and then you just want to type in a setup like that, and that will set up all the functions for you. Now, in order to enable God Mode, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is make myself join a team. So scoreboard teams join God in capital letters, and then just type in the name of the player or the selector, and then join that team. Now, this will do exactly what you expect. I get resistance, regeneration, and saturation. So pretty much nothing can kill me. I didn't grant fire resistance, just in case you want uh, the knockback and flame effect from that. Um, but anyway, it does more things. It even protects you from the void. So if I fall down into the void here, then I'll just be teleported back up. But if you do fall more than five blocks away from any visible surface, then um, then it will fail. So make sure if you fall off the edge, you don't go more than five blocks away. You can tweak this number and I'll show you how to do that soon. But let's say you're not uh, a fan of teams. So scoreboard teams leave at S. Okay, so I've just left the god team now, and you can see those status effects will uh, quickly go away. You can use tags if you really, really wanted to. So scoreboard players tag at s add god, and then I will get god mode, and if you want to remove that, then you can just remove it here. Now, you can do even more with this function. What you can do is just run it from a command block directly. So if I just go execute at all, function dragons stf, entity invulnerable then that will make any entity running this function completely invulnerable so let's just grab a lever and we will enable that and as you can see i have god mode but this can work on entities as well so if i were to make this run on a creeper for example let's turn this on you will notice that creepers will be completely invulnerable so let's drop this in here that creeper is not going to die and even if i drop a creeper down the void uh, assuming it doesn't despawn which i think it might it should get teleported back up here. Now, I think that worked. Ah, oh, yeah, they're coming up here because these are the highest blocks. That's just the nature of the spread players command. So now let's take a look at how all this works. Let's open up my notepad++. And as you can see, that setup command that I ran added this team here called God. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you want to know how to make that in your main, then please go into uh, my lightning video to see how that works. So let's just go into the main, which should be running if you installed this correctly. As you can see, um, if you've got the tag or team of God, then it will run the invulnerable function. What does that function do? Pretty simple, it gives you the effects. And if you're within 10 blocks of negative 50 on the y-axis, so when you reach negative 40, then you'll be teleported back to the surface. So it does a spreads players command to teleport you to the surface. Please note that if you are indoors, then this command unfortunately will just teleport you to the top of the room. So you might want to make some modifications to this if you want to. Now, if you want to give the player fire resistance, for example, all you have to do is effect a S fire resistance one one and true just to hide the particles. Let's go in here and if we reload and give ourselves score the players tag at p add god then as you can see we will get fire resistance like so make sure you include dragons stf in your main loop or you can just make dragons stf the main uh like this you can go game root loop function dragons stf main and then that will install this for you as well thanks everyone for watching see ya